Okay, this is gonna be some straight up talk about me, about this face, this body, this hair. Now you may not know it, but at the beginning of my modeling career, I had extensions because I have thin, fine, wispy hair. And what did I do? I revealed it to all of you. I revealed my thin, fine hair and I came out of the closet with my extensions. Well, that's it. This is called integrity, honesty, and what do they call it nowadays? Transparency. It's the new word, transparent. Well, I can tell you, a lot of my customers, a lot of my fans want to ask me, they want to know, have you done Botox? Did you puff your lips up with some kind of injection? Come on. I know you got a facelift, right? I mean, maybe a little tuck here and there? How about Botox? Everybody uses Botox, right? And many of you know that if you write to me and you're considering doing any of those things, I do like to give a bit of a pep talk. And that is, ask yourself, what is motivating you? Is it fun or is it fear? And if you can honestly say you're going for it because it's fun, because you're excited, that it's gonna turn you on just as much as getting a new pair of earrings or dyeing your hair a crazy color, then right on. Who am I to say that's not a righteous thing to do? And I can also say that if it makes you feel better, you will look better no matter what you do. And on the other hand, if you're motivated by fear, and you do any of those things I just listed, the fear is gonna show through. Because you're not excited about it, you're not celebrating it. What makes you beautiful, what makes you attractive, what makes you noticed by other people is your joy and your happiness and your confidence and your self-content. That's what it's all about. So what I have done is chosen not to ever do any of those things. Now, do I look in the mirror every once in a while and notice, oh God, there's another bag under the eye, there's another wrinkle, there's just a little more of that turkey neck, etc. Yeah, I think, hmm, you know, going to the knife, it's done, it's taken care of. But I know ultimately it's not going to make anyone notice me more, it's not going to have anybody love me anymore, and it's not going to have me like myself anymore. So what I'm altering is not the package is not the outside. What I alter is my mindset, what I'm thinking, my point of view. And my point of view is my wrinkles, my silver hair, even that loose skin under my forearms that are getting more noticeable by the day are righteous, they are natural, they were designed by Mother Nature or God or whatever you think is organizing and creating this world that we live in. Okay, now I'm gonna talk straight about how you see me. So I'm talking about turkey neck, I'm talking about wrinkles, and you're like, uh, where are they? I don't see them. Well, in this very moment, as I am being filmed, I will tell you, I put on foundation because I was a makeup artist for many years and I happen to know that skin doesn't look like it naturally looks with the human eye on camera. So I put on foundation. Then the photographer filled my face with all this light. So you can't see the lines, the indentations, the wrinkles, and basically the texture of the surface of my skin because it's being filled with light. I did put on a little mascara and I even threw on a couple little fake eyelashes because I noticed I had some blank spots there and I had the finesse to do it. But I'm telling you right now, that's what I did. So a couple fake eyelashes, foundation, and then of course, boomstick color, forehead, cheeks, lips, did my hair a little bit, and that is it. In fact, the next thing I wanna talk about is not accepting age or putting up with those things that 
kind of has to go along with it. I am talking about celebrating age, actually cheering it on, rallying age, dancing about it, singing about it, being happy about it, drinking it in, taking it in, looking forward to the next wrinkle, to the next silver hair, etc., etc. That is what I have control over. I have control over what I think and what I feel. And that's where I'm coming from. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. And I honor and respect whatever choices you make. I really do. I have never, ever been near Botox. I have never had cosmetic surgery. I have never done anything to my body. I have allowed nature, gravity, mother nature, do her thing 100%. And what I'm planning on doing is continuing to be in agreement with that.